own a pair of keys to a Skoda in the past, and you probably would have been subjected to a barrage of one-line jokes. A few looseners, how do you double the value of a Skoda? Chuck a penny in it. What do you call a Skoda with a sunroof? A skip. And how do you overtake a Skoda? Run. But with the Skoda Fabia VRS, all these jokes face extinction, because what you have here is the ultimate schizophrenic, a venom-drinking, tyre-screeching box of tricks. The heavy-handed use of the word box isn't by accident. Skoda haven't really won me over in the styling department, especially when you consider that this VRS is identically the same under the skin as a Polo GTI and Seat Ibiza Cupra. Yes, the Polo is probably a little bit too anally mature and the Ibiza trying too hard to be cool. And this metallic green paint job with candy white roof looks flippin' awesome. But the Fabia could have done with a nicer rear and some more curves and that would have made me like it even more. The interior is kind of lacking as well. You get a multifunction steering wheel, fine, nice sport seats to keep you in place, and a sat nav for an extra 500 quid. But everything else is a bit spartan. Manual temperature controls, a few buttons here and there, and lots and lots of black cloth and plastic. Where's all this crazy action from the advert? Whilst the Fabia appears to be a small package from the outside, the practicality aspect which every hot hatch must have by the way, is evident when you get in the back. I've got plenty of rear leg room and headroom, and we can stow away all of our equipment pretty tidily in the back. The back seats don't fold completely flat, but there's still enough room in the boot to get suitcases in and more if you want. In the hood, sorry, I mean under the hood, is a 180 horsepower, 1.4 litre engine. This frugal unit has been supercharged and turbocharged with thanks to the Germans. And as a result, well, I think you know where I'm heading with this one. The Fabia VRS transforms itself from a boring five-door hatchback into a wailing bruise of a machine. 0-62 miles an hour, 7.3 seconds. Top speed, 139 miles an hour. The handling is certainly lively, and although not pinpoint precise, I'm able to position the car exactly where I want on the road, thanks to the relative lightness of the steering. And when you feel like chilling out a bit, the VRS's split personality helps bring it back to a more sedate drive. Thanks to this clever DSG gearbox, the car in automatic mode is very happy to shift up to 7th gear, and that allows the car to achieve economy figures of about 45 miles to the gallon. Proper meat-eating, hairy-chested drivers will be screaming about the fact that this car doesn't come in a manual version, and to some extent, they're probably right because you don't feel completely at one with the car. However, you can't knock a good auto gearbox, and that's exactly what this has. In reality, a keen passerby will only realise the sporting potential of this Skoda if they spot the red brake calipers and that VRS badge on the front grille. And therein lies the biggest problem. The VRS versus the Polo GTI debate is almost exactly the same as a chocolate biscuit conundrum I regularly face. Do you opt for McVitie's, the top brand on the shelf, or the slightly cheaper ones? They're both chocolate biscuits, they both taste nearly exactly the same, but yet with these ones you probably want to hide them away at the back of the cupboard for fear of ridicule. The Fabia VRS is £2,000 less than the Polo GTI at 16 and a half grand, and is a more hair racing drive, but because of that badge, it'll mean that nobody bothers to call in at the Skoda dealership. And that will probably mean that they're missing out, in my opinion, on the bargain of the century.